In the 49 seasons of Delta State women's basketball, only 35 players have inscribed their name in the 1,000 point club. This year alone, three names have been added to the list. Senior Seneca Walton and Randy Ball, as well as junior Chelsea Rhodes. It means a lot to be a part of a legacy. Uh, a lot of people don't get that opportunity, and I think that we're all just thankful we did get that opportunity. I think this thousand point for me is a whole team because without them, we couldn't do it at all. So we just, it's just, we're great to have teammates that know that we can score and give us the opportunity to do it because they know we'll do the same for them. Like most college players, the adjustment each member had to make their freshman season was monumental. For Ball and Walden, it meant coming off the bench to spell a 2,000 point scorer in Veronica Walker. It helped me a lot because coming out of high school, I mean, I was always one of the top ones. And sometimes you have to encounter somebody that's much better than you to set you back a little bit and realize like there are people better than you. And like playing under her, she was always vocal and she pushed me because she went through the same thing as me as a freshman. So I feel like it was good having to step down at first to someone that was better than me. So I feel like it was good coming in. Of course, I struggled a little, and Randy was always one, one of the ones at the front. And because she was a freshman as well as me, I felt like if I needed help with something, I, I could go to her because like she was always getting through everything at top-notch speed and stuff like that. So, I mean, that helped build a relationship as well prior to coming here. I enjoy playing with people better than me or, you know, have more, because that pushes me to work harder so I can get to where they are. I mean, Ver, she never did anything. She always was there and she helped me. So it was just someone there that can help you so they can bring you up and show you the way. Following their freshman campaign, Ball and Walton's head coach, Sandra Rushing, took the same position at Division I Central Arkansas. Coming in from high school, straight in, of course that was different, but once you get so used to one thing, you prepare yourself for the next year with the same coach. But then you get news that they won't come back. So it hits you at first, but then you got to realize you got to keep going, keep um, pushing towards your goals, not to let it get you down. So you just got to play through it and hope everything works out for the best. This also meant the head coach that recruited Rhodes to the Delta was gone too. But the other two members of the 1000 Point Club made sure the guard felt right at home. They took me in like, like a little sister, like I'm a little Chelsea to them. So, I mean, they're just like sisters to me now. I don't know, it was kind of immediately, like the first couple of weeks, I think we played pickup ball together. And then after that, we just started clicking. Sister, little Chesley. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, when she came on her visa, I could, I could tell then that she was real cool and laid back because I can remember her just coming, just bouncing around, just smiling the whole visit. And when she actually got here, we all got here, I could tell her like, she would be a great teammate and a great player, off, um, a, gr a great player on the, on the court and just a great person off the court. So I know it wouldn't be hard to just be interested. Today, the trio share an apartment where they spend most of their days with each other. You talk about sisters and brothers, and sometimes they fight. Do you guys fight at all, or is it kind of just always get yes. along? Yes, they gang well, on me all the time. Well, this it, what it's really just playing around. Yeah, yeah it's not really fighting. Sometimes we go a little too far, but... Yeah, but, like, I don't think me and Chelsea ever really got in a big argument or anything, but even if we do have a, like, if we do run into it, it's not for long. It just be for like two seconds, and then we we're playing again and doing everything else. Say one thing, we'll just use every letter in the alphabet. <laughs> just saying, like we Delete. had this thing. It was like you need to delete do, that. <laughs> to delete that. Then I'll say you got to. Elite that. <laughs> you gotta believe that. <laughs> we'll just say every letter. I mean, it's lame, but it's so no funny. To <laughs> this was before I came. I wasn't a part of that. <laughs> Can you dance like Chelsea for me? <laughs> yeah, I dance like Chelsea. <laughs> I can't do it. She ain't done it. Like that. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I can. Oh, we gotta sit down and do it. 
I see. How does she do? She drives like drives a car. Oh yeah, drives she be like wheel. Hey. Hey. Break with that break. Mm. Mm. Wheel. Oh. Hey. Hey. Wheel. Oh. <laughs> That's Don't a favorite dance. Too. Come on, we go. What way we gonna go first? Anyway, anyway. Go the way. All right. One, two, three. Wheel. Hey. <laughs> Put it right. And without a doubt, the joking extends from on the court to off the court into how each other plays the game. See, we have a lot of fun times, but I, I don't know what to say. See, she um, had a lot of games where she just get in the mood and then she try to act like it's all good. She try to keep her composure, like, show some emotion, you got it. You know, we room for you or whatever. I'm not trying to get too, too happy because I come down and then travel with the bottle. <laughs> It certainly hasn't been all fun and games for the three lady statesmen, as their years in Cleveland have been as much about growing up on and off the court as much as anything else. I think each year has been a confidence builder for me. I know my freshman year and I came in, um, I was ready to play, but at the same time, I think I, just, I had freshman jitters maybe. And they, all of my teammates helped me like, it's okay, you missing, it's okay that you miss and keep shooting. Don't stop, don't stop doing this, don't stop doing that. Or like if I get down on myself, I know in the beginning, uh, like my freshman year, when I didn't do something right, like I really, really got down on myself. And it kind of affected the whole game, or well, affected me the whole game. But now, I, I might get down on myself, but I'm able to take what they tell me now and use it to pick myself back up and help the team. With the tough losses that we had early, it did prepare us mentally for like later on because we've come back like 20 point deficit and won ball games. And I feel like early on that prepared us for now. So even if teams come out and make a run, we know how to take that in and make our run back. As a whole, the trio has taken the floor a combined 309 times, registered 251 starts, compiled 3,401 points, pulled down 1,655 rebounds for three different head coaches. Quite simply, when the names Walton, Ball, and Rhodes are written in the scorebook, wins come. 83 of them total in the seniors' four years. Winning all the games with them. <laughs> That's the most important right now, just getting the wins with them. It means a lot because like, when I'm not stepping up, they're stepping up. So, I mean, like, it's not just one specific moment. Of all the marks that this scoring trifecta has provided, one thing eludes them, a GSC championship. But this may be the year as the team is beginning to fire on all cylinders. I think the, the end of the season is the most important part because that's when we need to go far. Like, we were upset that we were winning games, but like Coach told us, it's better to hit the peak towards the end of the season than the beginning. And we actually see what he's talking about now. Yeah, because, I mean, in the past years, of course we love winning, but in the past years, we hadn't, when we needed to, we hadn't excelled like we needed to. So I feel like we got through all those problems early in the season, so when it's really count, we can um, prepare and improve so we can go farther this year.